hier, yesterday, aujourd'hui, today, demain, tomorrow. OK? Hier, yesterday, aujourd'hui, today, demain, tomorrow. So let's see now. Hier, so yesterday, hier matin, matin is morning, ok? So yesterday morning will go in French like hier matin, hier matin, ok? Après-midi means afternoon, hier après-midi, yesterday afternoon, hier après-midi, hier après-midi, all right? And then soir, evening. Hier soir. Hier soir. Ok, so let's repeat that. Hier. Hier matin. Hier après-midi. Hier soir. Ok. So now, aujourd'hui. Today. Aujourd'hui. Ce matin. So we put here this ce, this matin, morning, this morning, ce matin, cet après-midi, this afternoon, cet après-midi, cet après-midi, ce soir, so soir, evening, this evening, ce soir, ce soir, alright, and then, demain, so tomorrow, demain matin, tomorrow morning, demain matin, demain après-midi, tomorrow afternoon, demain après-midi, demain soir, Demain soir, tomorrow evening, demain soir. So one more time. Hier, hier matin, hier après-midi, hier soir, aujourd'hui, ce matin, cet après-midi, ce soir, demain, demain matin, demain après-midi, Demain soir, 50, de 50 à 75, till 75, de 50 à 75. So let's see how they go. 50, 50, 51, 51, 52. 52 53 53 54 54 55 55 56 56 57, 57, 58, 58, 59, 59, 60, 60, 61, 61 62 62 63 63 64 64 65 65 66 66 
67 67 68 68 69 69 And that's normally when my students, when I'm in, in class with them, start to look at me like they, they would like to kill me because now we're getting to the tricky point in French, okay? So have a look here. Now we've got this 70, of course. Uh, but then in French, it's a bit more tricky because you take back the 60, 60, and then you will add the 10, 10. Okay, so... For this 70 session here, you will have to use this 60 and then 10. And so all the numbers from 10 to 19, you will have to put them right here after. Okay, so let's see how it goes. 70. 70. 71. 71. Okay, so you can see here now. 60, 60, and then 11, 11. 60 et 11. 72. 72. Same thing here. 60 and then 12. Okay. 73. 73. 74. 74 75 75 okay so we don't, we won't go uh, further uh, not to be more traumatized because I've got some nice surprises after that as well okay so remember that uh, well till 70 uh, well it's quite it's quite not easy because it's always difficult to remember the numbers but still it's uh, not that tricky okay so remember that for 70 here uh, so from 70 to 79 you will have to use this 60 so 60 and then the numbers from 10 to 19 okay 10 11 12 13 14 15 etc so we'll see the, the rest uh, in a, a coming lesson so now what we'll do, we'll go to, to till uh, 100 and then we'll see uh, all the, the what tricky and irregular forms, okay? So, if you remember uh, when we stopped, it was here, okay? So, 75. In French, we'll have to use this 60, so 60, okay? And then after that, you will have to put this 15, 15, okay? So remember, from 70 to 79 it will work the same way so you will have to put this 60 and then the numbers from 10 to 19 after uh sorry yeah 19 yes okay so in that case it's 75 75 okay 60 and then 15 okay next one 76 okay so 60 and 16 okay 76 all right. Soixante dix sept. Soixante dix sept. Soixante dix huit. Soixante dix huit. Soixante dix neuf. Soixante dix neuf. And then quatre vingt. Okay, so for 80, it's 80, 80, all right? 81, 81, 82, 82, 83, 83. 84 84 85 85 
quatre-vingt-six, quatre-vingt-six, quatre-vingt-sept, quatre-vingt-sept. Quatre-vingt-huit, quatre-vingt-huit, quatre-vingt-neuf, quatre-vingt-neuf. And now for ninety, well, basically it would be the same thing as we had for seventy. So you will take this quatre-vingt, eighty, and then you will add. The numbers from ten to nineteen after, so quatre-vingt-dix, and then quatre-vingt-onze. So ninety-one. So remember quatre-vingt-eighty, and then onze, eleven, quatre-vingt-onze, quatre-vingt-douze. Quatre-vingt-douze, quatre-vingt-treize, quatre-vingt-treize, quatre-vingt-quatorze, quatre-vingt-quatorze, quatre-vingt-quinze, quatre-vingt-quinze, quatre-vingt-seize. Quatre-vingt-seize, quatre-vingt-dix-sept, quatre-vingt-dix-sept, quatre-vingt-dix-huit, quatre-vingt-dix-huit, quatre-vingt-dix-neuf, quatre-vingt-dix-neuf, and the last one, cent. Remember, final T not pronounced. Sans. Okay. Discover this parce que form. So parce que means because. Okay, and it's really really useful. So we'll see how to use it. Okay. So parce que here. So the first use uh, of uh, parce que is when you want to introduce the reason. Okay. So we've got two examples here. Il ne mange pas tout de suite. Okay, so here you've got the negative form. Remember, ne and then pas. Manger means to eat. Il ne mange pas, so he doesn't eat. Tout de suite. Well, basically it means right now. Parce qu'il, okay, préfère. Attendre. So in that case, because he prefers to wait, il préfère attendre. Okay, préférer to prefer, and then here you can see that attendre is to wait. Second verb, okay, and then you should put it like here at the infinitive form, so the basic form of the verb. Okay, il ne mange pas tout de suite parce qu'il préfère. Attendre. Okay. Second example. Nous allons dehors. Aller is to go dehors outside. Nous allons dehors. So we go outside. Parce que. So because. Nous voulons marcher. Vouloir to want. Marcher to walk. Nous voulons marcher. We want to walk. Okay. Nous allons dehors. Parce que nous voulons marcher. Okay, and then the second option to use this parce que is when you want to introduce the cause, la cause. Okay, example here. Il prend son parapluie, parapluie, umbrella. Prendre is to take. Il prend son his, so he is taking his umbrella. Il prend son parapluie. Parce qu'il pleut. Pleuvoir to rain. It rains. Il pleut. Il prend son parapluie parce qu'il pleut. Okay. And then, second example. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. 
Okay, a place to call. Garagist is this nice person that will fix your car if it's broken or if it doesn't start, like in this example. Okay. Parce que sa voiture, voiture is car, sa voiture, possessive, his car, and then ne pas, so you get the ne negative form here, and démarrer is to start. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. So because his car doesn't start. Okay. Il appelle le garagiste parce que sa voiture ne démarre pas. All right. So you can see the two main way uh, of uh, using this uh, parce que. So the first one, the reason. In that case, uh, well, it's something that refers to the person. Okay. Actually, in that case, it doesn't. He doesn't eat because he prefers uh, to wait, and then uh, we go outside because we want. Okay. And then the second uh, possibility when you. Uh, talking about la cause in that case uh, something that doesn't really uh, it's not the the, the, the results of uh, what someone is doing but it's it's raining in that case and then the, the car doesn't uh, start it doesn't really it's not the result of uh, the action of someone okay so that's the two main use of parce que we will work on le moyen-orient the middle east okay let's start Le Moyen-Orient. So it's interesting here because normally if you would have only this word here, you would pronounce it Moyen, Moyen, okay? But then as you've got this vowel after, okay, you get to make the liaison between the two. Le Moyen-Orient, Moyen-Orient, okay? Let's start now. Israël, Israël. La Palestine, la Palestine, le Liban, le Liban, la Jordanie, la Jordanie. Ok, so let's repeat them one more time. Le Moyen-Orient, Israël, la Palestine, le Liban, la Jordanie. Okay, and now we'll see the nationalities. Okay, so Israel, and then in, I will put the masculine form here and the feminine form here. Israelien, Israelien, so masculine form and then feminine form. Israelienne, Israelienne, okay, yen, yen, okay, and then Palestinien. Palestinien, feminine form, palestinienne, palestinienne. Le Liban, libanais, né, né, libanais, libanaise, ok? Et, es, z, es, libanais, libanaise. And then, Jordanie. Jordanien, Jordanienne, ok, yen, yen, Jordanien, Jordanienne, ok, so let's see them one more time. Israël, Israélien, Israélienne, la Palestine, Palestinien, Palestinienne, le Liban, Libanais, Libanaise, la Jordanie, Jordanien, Jordanienne, l'Extrême-Orient, so Far East, l'Extrême-Orient, so let's discover that together, so Far East in French we'll say l'Extrême-Orient, l'Extrême-Orient, le Japon, le Japon, la Chine, la Chine, la Chine, l'Inde, so remember you get this nasal here form, I-N-1, l'Inde, 
l'Inde. Le Pakistan. Le Pakistan. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Ok, so let's see everything one more time here. L'Extrême-Orient. Le Japon. La Chine. L'Inde. Le Pakistan. Hong Kong. Ok. And now for the nationalities. So each time I will put the masculine form and the feminine form. Ok. Le Japon. Japonais. Japonaise. Ok. So the only difference is there. Est. Es. Japonais. Japonaise. La Chine. Chinois. So it's really this wa 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 sound, remember? Chinois. Chinoise. Z, z, was. Chinoise. So chinois, chinoise. L'Inde. Indien. Yen. Indien. Indienne. So remember this uh, double N. You open it. E. Indienne. Le Pakistan. Pakistanais. Pakistanaise. Hong Kong. Chinois de Hong Kong. Chinoise de Hong Kong. So let's see them one more time. Le Japon. Japonais. Japonaise. La Chine. Chinois. Chinoise. L'Inde. Indien. Indienne. Le Pakistan. Pakistanais. Pakistanaise. Hong Kong. Chinois de Hong Kong. Chinoise de Hong Kong. Le verbe pronominal. So, what is le verbe pronominal? So, first we'll take an example. Regarder, to look, to watch. Ok? And then, se regarder. In that case, it would be to look at oneself. Ok? So, that's the important thing about this. Verbe pronominal, the, le verbe pronominal will be constructed all the time with this se before the verb. Se regarder, okay? And this se will basically change the meaning of the verb because regarder, to look, to watch, se regarder, to look at oneself, okay? So we'll take an example. So if we take the regarder verb, okay? So normally you will construct this. Sentence, je regarde la télévision, ok? I watch the television. Je regarde la télévision, ok? But then, if you use this se regarder, so as I said, to look at oneself, in that case, je me regarde. Alright, so you will have to add this me thing here before the verb. Je me regarde. Okay? So let's see how we will conjugate these verb at the present form. Je me regarde. Tu te regardes. Il se regarde. Elle se regarde. Nous nous regardons. Vous vous regardez. Il se regarde. Elle se regarde. So now you can see that you've got to add this ne te se, nous, vous, se, before the verb, when you conjugate it, okay? Let's take 
another example, appeler, to call. Okay, and then the important thing in that case is that, as usual, you know, appeler is starting with a vowel, a, here, and it does mean that, as usual in French, normally we should have this s, but then e will disappear, and it will look like that, s'appeler. So, appeler to call, and then s'appeler to call oneself. Okay, so let's see how we will conjugate this verb. Je m'appelle. So, same thing here, the e uh, that we had previously disappeared. Je m'appelle. So, remember that's normally the, the, the verb that you use when you introduce yourself. Like, I call myself, so my name is, of course, but then in French it's like, I call myself. Okay, je m'appelle. Tu t'appelles. Tu t'appelles. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. Nous nous appelons. Okay, so I will, I will make the, the liaison. Nous nous appelons. Vous vous appelez. Il s'appelle. Elle s'appelle. <coughs> Sorry. So if you look carefully here as well, so you will have to add this m, t, s, okay, and then nous, vous, s, okay. So remember, it's just because the verb is starting with a vowel. It would be the same if uh, the verb would start with uh, the letter h plus a vowel because we don't pronounce h, so and that's the reason why. Uh, my God, I'm losing my voice. Let's hope I will finish. <laughs> um, be careful, because in some cases, when you will uh, add this s in front of the verb, then le sens, so the meaning of the verb, will change. So, I will put a few examples here. Uh, trouver is to find, okay? And then, se trouver means to be, être. Okay, trouver to find, but then se trouver is to be, être. Passer, to pass. Se passer, avoir lieu, so to take place. Se passer, to take place. Passer, to pass. Okay, and then mettre, to put. Se mettre, well it's to start, commencer, to start something. Okay, so remember, Trouver, to find, se trouver, être, so to be. Passer, to pass, se passer, avoir lieu, to take place. Mettre, to put, se mettre, commencer, to start something. Les verbes du troisième groupe, and we'll see together, more precisely, how to conjugate the verbs that will end with U I R E huir. Okay, so let's start now. Huir and the verbs I think uh, that uh, could represent uh, this category is uh, conduire. Conduire means to drive or conduct. Okay, and so let's see how you will conjugate this verb. Je conduis. Tu conduis. Il conduit. Elle conduit. So, so far it's not that difficult, okay, because I assume that most of you would have put this final S here, S and then T, okay, because it's in most of the cases the way we will conjugate the verbs of uh, the third group. Not all the verbs, not all the verbs, but most of them, okay, so that's the reason why you will get this uh, form, je conduis, okay, so it's quite simple, tu conduis, and then il, elle, conduit. Okay, keep in mind that you pronounce them the same way. Okay, so let's see how it will go for nous. And it's actually not that difficult, but then of course, most of you maybe would like to see air here. Okay, but then no, it's not the case because it will become S. Nous conduisons. 
Okay, and the good news is that it will stay for vous, vous conduisez, and then also for il, elle, ils conduisent, elles conduisent. Okay, so one more time. Je conduis, tu conduis, il conduit, elle conduit, nous conduisons, vous conduisez, ils conduisent, elles conduisent. Okay, so basically these verbs are not really tricky. They are not really difficult. The only thing that you get to remember is that this is S here. Conduisons. Okay, because well... I won't get into that, but if you would put this air here, it would be the future form. Okay, but then here, keep in mind that you get to put S here. Conduisons, and then conduisez, and here, conduise. So we'll see now the other verbs that, that will actually be conjugated like conduire. Construire. Cuire. Déduire, détruire, instruire, introduire, nuire, produire, reproduire, réduire, séduire, traduire, and few others. Ok, so let's see them one more time. Construire, cuire. Déduire, détruire, instruire, introduire, nuire, produire, reproduire, réduire, séduire, traduire. And of course, you are expecting the translation. I know that. And this is the reason why you will get them. So, construire means construct, build. Cuire, cook. Déduire, deduct, deduce. Détruire, destroy. Instruire, educate, instruct. Introduire, introduce, insert. Nuire, harm, damage. Produire, produce, make. Reproduire, reproduce, copy. Réduire, reduce, decrease. Séduire, charm. Traduire, translate. Okay, so keep in mind that these verbs here will actually be conjugated like we saw a few minutes ago. Voilà. Les verbes du troisième groupe, and more precisely, we'll see the verbs that are ending with ER, okay? And remember, they can be quite tricky. So that's the reason why we will take the time to have a look at them, okay? And so basically, in that case, so the verbs ending with ER, we'll see three categories. The first one, it will be what we call les verbes à un radical, okay? So we'll see that a bit later, but radical is the stem, the root, okay? So actually, these ones are quite easy to conjugate. The second group is les verbes à deux radicaux. So now it's getting uh, a bit difficult because it will mean that uh, these verbs will have, will have actually two uh, stems or uh, roots if you want. So we'll, we'll see that, don't, don't worry. And then this third group, oh, it's a strange one here. But then actually we're talking about les verbes à trois radicaux. So in that case, we will see that, well, they, they are the, well, the most tricky one. But then don't worry, we'll manage to, 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 to uh, understand uh, how it works. Okay, so let's see now. And we'll start with the easy thing, <laughs> and it's better. And it's les verbes à un radical. So the verbs ending with ER. And in that case, I thought it might be interesting to take the verb ouvrir. Ouvrir is to open. Okay, so it's quite useful. And so the idea is that this final ER will be taken away to get the stem, the root. And so after that you will get j'ouvre, tu ouvres, il ouvre, elle ouvre, nous ouvrons, vous ouvrez, 
ils ouvrent, elles ouvrent. Ok, so it's clear that we've got this verb ouvrir. Ok, so ouvrir is the ending with er. And as I told you here, you should take this er away. Ok, so we will get the form o u v r, and then after that you will add so the endings e for je. So that's the reason why you get j'ouvre. For tu, you will add es. And that's the reason why you will get tu ouvre. For il, elle, you will add e, ouvre. Okay, so basically you get the same phonetical form here. Okay, it's the same pronunciation, but you should write it ouvre, e, ouvre, e, s, ouvre, e. Okay, and then for nous, well, the classic ending, o, n, s, ouvrons, nous ouvrons, and then for vous, Classic ending EZ, vous ouvrez, il, elle. Classic ending ENT, ils ouvrent, elles ouvrent. Okay, so it's actually not that difficult if you think about this little thing. So you should take this ER away and just add these endings. Okay, so we'll see now few verbs that will actually be conjugated the same way ouvrir is. And it's couvrir, découvrir, cueillir, accueillir, recueillir, assaillir, souffrir, and few others. Okay? But these are the main ones. Um, couvrir, découvrir, cueillir, accueillir, recueillir, assaillir, and then souffrir. I don't know what there, why there is a little dot here, but then don't bother with this. Um, and of course, as uh, in most of the cases, I try to give you that translation. And here it goes. So, couvrir means to cover or to wrap. Découvrir, to discover. Cueillir, gather, pick. Accueillir, welcome. Recueillir, collect, gather. Assaillir, assault, attack, and then souffrir, to suffer. Okay, so these verbs here will be conjugated the same way ouvrir is. And it's not that difficult. Okay, so now let's see the second group. So what we call les verbes à deux radicaux. And so we'll take partir. Partir is to leave. We use this verb quite often, okay? So basically it's quite important to see how to conjugate that at the present form. And so, as I said, the idea is that we will have two different roots, two different stems, okay? And the first one will be P-A-R for the singular form. So we're talking about je, tu, il and elle. So the singular form, okay? And then for the plural form, we will have part, okay? And we're talking about nous, vous, il, elle. So let's see how it will go, okay? So the first form will be je pars, okay? Remember, you put this S, you don't pronounce it. Je pars. Then you will get tu pars, il, elle, pars. So the first thing that you get to keep in mind, you've got this final S, final S, final T, but then you don't pronounce them. So phonetically, je pars, tu pars, il pars, elle pars, the same form. And then, if you think about what we saw here, we should have this first part here, and then the endings after. And that's the reason why we will get nous partons. Okay, so you've got this P A R T and then we put the ending O N S the classic one. Vous partez same way and then obviously we'll have il part elle part okay so the first part P A R T and then the ending E N T okay and this is the tricky thing with this verb partir it's it's just to remember that 
when you get the singular or the plural, well, basically you will have different stems, okay? So the first one, keep in mind that you, you will have this PAR and then you will add the ending S for je, S for tu, T for il, elle. Phonetically, je pars, tu pars, il part, elle part, okay? And for the plural, as we saw, you just keep this P-A-R-T and you add the endings O-N-S, E-Z, E-N-T. And you will get nous partons, vous partez, ils partent, elles partent. All right? So, let's see now the verbs that will be conjugated like partir. Sortir, dormir. Servir, sentir, mentir, se repentir, and few others. Okay, so, sortir, dormir, servir, sentir, mentir, se repentir. And of course, you would like to have the translation. Sortir means to go out, dormir, sleep. Servir, serve, or be used for. Sentir, smell, feel. Mentir, lie. Se repentir, express remorse. Okay, so keep in mind that these verbs will actually be conjugated like partir. Okay. And last but not least, uh, don't be afraid. So now we've got the, the, the last uh, group of verbs uh, ending with ER. And uh, these verbs will belong to the group of verbes à trois radicaux. So obviously you understand now what I'm talking about and we'll see how it goes. And in that case, well, basically the idea with uh, venir, so I decided to take venir, venir is to come. Same thing, it's a quite used verb, so that's the reason why I think it's important to, important to see how it goes. And so the, the, well, the difficult thing with uh, this group of verbs is actually you will have one form for the singular. So we're talking here about je, tu, il, elle. Okay, so in that case, the stem, the root will be Vien, V-I-E-N. Okay? Then we will have another root or stem for nous and vous at the plural form. And it will be V-E-N. Okay? So you can see that it's not the same. And last but not least, we'll have a third stem or root for il, elle at the plural form. And it will be Vien. And this is the tricky thing with uh, venir, and we'll see the, the other verbs uh, that will uh, be conjugated like it. It's, you've got three, three forms here. So, vien for the singular, ven like that for the plural, but then it's only nous and vous, and then vien for the plural, il, elle. So, let's see how it goes. Je viens, tu viens. Il vient, elle vient. Okay, so we do agree that we respect the rule. So you take this V-E-N and then you put it right here. And after that, you will put the ending. Okay, then think about what we saw. Nous and vous, so they're coming right now. We should use this V-E-N stem. So that's what we are going to do. Nous. Venons. Okay, so you put back this V-E-N and after that you will put your ending O-N-S. Nous venons. Then you will get vous venez. Okay, and the last one, remember here, for il, elle at the plural form, you will use this vien here and then you will add the ending E-N-T. Ils viennent, elles viennent. Okay, and so this is, well, normally what is difficult, uh, trying to remember how to conjugate them and especially keeping that fact in mind that for the singular you will put this V-I-E-N and then you will add S for je, 
S for tu and T for il elle. Okay, and phonetically it's the sorry, <laughs> it's the same form. Uh, so you get je viens, okay, tu viens, il vient, elle vient. And then it was quite fast. But then for nous and vous, okay, you will put this V E N, all right, and you will add the ending O N S for nous, E Z for vous, okay, and you get nous venons, vous venez. And the last part, remember, well, basically for il, elle, you will put back this V I E. Double N, and you will put the ending ENT, and you'll get ils viennent, elles viennent. And it can be quite tricky because if you think about that, especially phonetically, it's uh, it's challenging in a way because you get this nasal sound here. Je viens, okay, viens, tu viens, well the same. Il vient, elle vient. Then you will get this. The nom. Okay, keep in mind that it's really a uh, in that case. The nom, the ne. And the last one, because you've got this double N here, you need to pronounce this a uh, like a, eh, a. Eh. And that's the reason why you should pronounce it vienne, vienne. Okay, so il vienne, elle vienne. So just one more time to make it clear. Je viens, tu viens. Il vient, elle vient, nous venons, vous venez, ils viennent, elles viennent. And so let's see now the verbs that will actually be conjugated like venir. And we're talking about tenir, contenir, détenir, maintenir, obtenir, devenir, revenir, intervenir, se souvenir and few others. Okay, so tenir, contenir, détenir, maintenir, obtenir, devenir, revenir, intervenir, se souvenir. So let's see now the translations. Tenir, hold, keep. Contenir, contain. Détenir, possess, have. Maintenir, keep, maintain. Obtenir, obtain, get. Devenir, become. Revenir, come back. Intervenir, intervene. Se souvenir, remember. Les verbes du troisième groupe, and more precisely, how to conjugate les verbes, the verbs that are ending with U-R-E, okay, so U-R, and well, actually, even if it's, let's call it a micro group, uh, I think it's quite important to just take the time to see how to conjugate uh, these verbs, okay, and so the example I wanted to uh, use or to take is Conclure, and basically it means to end, close, or conclude. Okay, so let's see how we will conjugate conclure. Je conclue. Tu conclues. Il conclut. Elle conclut. Nous concluons. Vous concluez. Il conclut. Elle conclut. So, as usual, let's say that the singular is not that difficult because probably you would put that uh, without knowing uh, that it goes like that. S, S, T. Okay, so you get conclu, conclu, conclu. Okay, the same phonetical form here. The tricky thing in a way is for nous, vous, il, elle of the plural because basically you don't put anything between this U and the, the ending. So you get this concluons, okay? So don't put any S or anything here, 
So it's not concluson or concluron or something like that for the present form. It's concluon, okay? Concluer, and then here, conclu. Okay, keep in mind that even if you put this final e n t, so the ending, you don't pronounce it. So phonetically, you get conclu. Conclu, okay? So je conclue, tu conclues, il conclut, elle conclut, nous concluons, vous concluez, il conclut, elle conclut. And so when I say it's a micro group, it's just because <laughs> you will see that we've got actually two verbs that will be conjugated like conclure. But, you know, honestly, it's, it's quite important to introduce them anyway because they are not that tricky uh, to conjugate. And it's inclure and exclure. Okay, so inclure, exclure, and I'm pretty sure that you understand how or what they mean with the other translations, but of course I will offer you the translation, and it's uh, inclure means to include or incorporate, and then exclure, exclude, or get rid of, okay? Les verbes du troisième groupe, and uh, more precisely, we'll see together how to conjugate at the present form the verbs ending with V, R, E, okay? Vre. So let's see that together. And so the example I wanted to take is quite useful because it's vivre, and vivre means to live. And so the tricky thing that you've got to keep in mind with this group of verbs is that it will have actually two stems or two roots. So we'll see uh, practically what it, it does mean, okay? But then keep in mind that for the singular form, so je, tu, and then il, elle, actually the stem or the root will be v, i, okay? So basically we take away this vre ending. Okay, and then for the plural form, so it will be nous, vous, and then il, elle, the stem or the root will be v, i, v. Okay, so, and that's the difficult thing, uh, because for the singular, the stem will be v, -I. for the plural, it will be v, i, v. Okay, so let's see now how it will go when we conjugate this verb. So you will get Je vis, tu vis, il vit, elle vit. Okay, so we do agree that you take this root or this stem here, you put it right here, and after that you will put the ending. For je, it will be s, for tu, it will be s, the same, and for il, elle, it will be t. And so if we keep the logic as we saw now for the plural form, we will take V, I, V, and then after that we will add the ending, and the classic ending for nous is O, N, S. Nous vivons. Vous vivez. Ils vivent. Elles vivent. Okay? So if you have this thing quite clearly in mind that we've got two stems so the first one for the singular is v plus the endings and then for the plural it will be v e v plus the ending then you will master these verb and the other verbs that will actually be conjugated like it okay so let's see now the endings remember for je it's s for tu s and for il so this is the reason why we get je vis, tu vis, il vit, elle vit. Okay? And then for nous, the ending is ons. So you get nous vivons. Then ez, vous vivez. And after that, ent, ils vivent, elles vivent. Alright? So let's see now what verbs are actually conjugated like vivre. And we've got suivre, poursuivre, revivre, survivre, 
and few others but then these are the main ones so suivre poursuivre revivre survivre okay so let's see what they mean suivre it's to follow poursuivre pursue chase revivre relieve live through again survivre survive okay and these verbs will actually be conjugated like vivre that we saw a few minutes ago